my man come to the stage with the bros. We did a Cuba comedy tour together. This is my boy, start clapping up right now. Come on, y'all, give it up for Tyler Chronicles in the house. Come on, y'all, make some noise. Come in here, 368 for gas, all change. You don't know me, 
mal. Que... Like when money was flowing and people used to disrespect money, like even machines used to disrespect money. Remember how hard it used to be in the 90s to put a dollar in the vending machine? We had to damn near iron a dollar, put it on the corner or something, for about two hours to get in the machine. You know, since the economy been messed up, how easy, but the other day I bought a dollar up and threw it by the machine. And the machine laid over and caught my dollar. And it was like, what you want, a Sprite big dog? <laughs> I said, hey, this machine is breakdancing and taking sock dollars. <laughs> Who made this machine? <laughs> um, anybody have a father? <laughs> you know, that's a weird transition, but you know what I mean? This is my life. <laughs> All right, I met my dad two times. Uh, first time I met <laughs> I know it's weird, but it's my life. I gotta talk about it. First time I met him, uh, we spent about 15 minutes talking, and he spent the first 10 minutes explaining to me why he named me Harold. And if y'all was listening to how he bring me on stage, you know my name is Tyler. So that was a weird conversation with my dad for the first time. Second time, second time I met him though, uh, when, uh, don't get weird about this either. He had uh, ALS, if anybody don't know about that, that's Lou Gehrig's disease, and uh, anybody that went to Everest knows. Uh, it's the central, <laughs> central nervous disease, uh, central nervous system disease. And first thing it does is it takes away your, your legs, next thing it takes away your upper extremities. One of the last things it takes away is your voice, and then you pass away because there's, there's no cure for it. So let me tell you how strong genes and DNA are. This is my second time meeting this man. He's on his way out, and you know what I mean? He knows exactly what's on my mind. I walked into that hospice, and he built up all the energy that he could, looked me in my face, and he said, it's not hereditary. I said, you know what, that's all I can even find out. I didn't really care anything about you, Jack. I did not know. I just came to see was I gonna get it. Don't awe me, I wasn't awing when he wasn't raising me. Where I was at was I was in the backyard playing baseball by myself. <laughs>